Okay, pause. It's a very special week this week. This week it is Trans Awareness Week. And as a teacher, I think it's important that we let our trans children know that they are loved and supported and valued. So with the help from my husband who has a PhD in young adult and children's literature, I'm gonna be highlighting some books about some trans kiddos that you can reach your children at home or to your class. Today we are going to be starting with a book by Jessica Love, Julian at the Wedding. Now the OG book of this is Julian as a Mermaid and it is chef kiss. I mean, look at Julian at this gorgeous wedding. We love the photos. And we especially love books that are about trans and non-binary children of color. Absolutely check this one out. And I'll be back later this week with more. Happy Trans Awareness Week. Hello, everyone. My name is Swamp. And yes, it is the moment you've all been waiting for. We're heading back straight into TikTok hell. And this edition is gonna be all about Brantley. Theodore Otis Brantley. Which is a name that I made up, in case you don't remember. Told well, this little boy that he needed to choose a different color because the color pink was for girls. Nope. Nope, Brantley. Brantley, that did not happen. No, 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 no. No, Theodore Otis Brantley. I think his real name is Mr. Williams, but Brentley just seemed more appropriate. <laughs> and then I added the Theodore Otis part. I'm not sure where that came from. It just popped into my head when I was looking at the guy. <laughs> so, without further ado, TikTok Hell, Theodore Otis Brentley edition. Go. I'm a pre-K teacher. I like to have fun during spooky season. Every Friday we have Freaky Friday. And that's when we do like fun Halloween stuff. I mean, look at me. I'm wearing a fun Halloween sweater. I got pumpkins on my glasses. We dance to the Monster Mash. I'm cool and I'm fun. Oh man, wow, that's so much just right off the bat. Man, that is annoying. So I'm reading a silly Halloween book to the kids and one of the students pipes up in the middle of the book. I was like, Mr. Williams, this isn't fun. You know, why is it that teachers think that doing like cutesy stuff like that would be fun for the kids? I don't, I always hated doing crap like that. <laughs> I mean, maybe I felt differently in, you know, in pre-K, which is what he teaches, but you know, I'm with this kid, he's right. I said, I'm sorry, you're not enjoying the book, but the rest of the class is having fun. No, no, I was wrong. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. Because they are all like, no, Mr. Williams, you're not fun. This isn't fun. And judging by all the other teachers on TikTok that I've seen, this is going to really bother him. <laughs> For some reason, that's the new thing. You become a teacher to get validation from children. I don't know why. Uh, who am I kidding? Yes, I know why. It's because you got bullied in school. So I'm like, what would make this fun then? Like you could bring us some Halloween treats, like cupcakes or cookies or candy. I'm sorry. Do y'all think you can keep me hostage? You think I'm going to cave in and buy you sugary snacks so that you'll like me and think I'm fun and cool? That's exactly what I did. Hey, props to him for being able to joke about it. You know, obviously he's having fun, you know, poking fun at his own insecurities, but they're still there. <laughs> he actually did feel like he had to go get candy. <laughs> what? This is not how an adult acts, okay, Brantley? I'm sorry. I need my students to validate and like me. I'm fun. <laughs> All right, teachers, let's chat. We need to chat about your LGBT students and school spirit. I know a lot of schools are celebrating homecoming right now, which is super fun, but you have to recognize and remember that there are marginalized students at your school who maybe don't feel welcome to part of the community. I told you this had to do with him being bullied in school. I told you, I called it. It's hard for us to have that school spirit. Let me give an example. My freshman year of high school, I was nominated to homecoming court. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be good, I can tell. <laughs> I was super excited. Then we got to halftime, they announced my name, and my class bully walked out to the field and gave me a Minnie Mouse tiara. <laughs> <laughs> and called me a princess in front of the entire school. <laughs> princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Classic. Not a teacher, not a student, 
an administrator stopped him, they laughed. Oh, come on, Brantley. Everyone gets made fun of in high school. I got made fun of. Listen, if you're going to be out and proud, you got to expect this kind of stuff, all right? I can't believe I'm having to explain this to you. <laughs> Besides, that's, that, that's a funny story, Brantley. And look, you're capitalizing on it right now. So really, you should be thanking that kid. Why as a teacher do I paint my nails? And why do I keep boxes of nail polish in my classroom? Because I had a student come in last year with his nails painted. And the adults at the school were the ones that made fun of him. Now, he tells this story a lot. Like, the first time that I had him on the uh, Teachers of TikTok video, he was telling this same story. And I'm pretty sure that's when I came up with Brentley. But, no. No, last year there wasn't an administrator, faculty member, or whoever making fun of a child for wearing nail polish. Yeah, maybe in, Jesus, I don't, the 90s, maybe? Even early 2000s, I would buy it, okay? I'd believe you. <laughs> but, oh yeah, 2021, for sure, yeah. Dude, that teacher would be fired. Or that administrator would be fired. Come on. And then that day I told him that I was going to paint my nails just like his. Then I got made fun of when I went to the store to get nail polish. I want to be visible to my students that expressing yourself is a great thing to do. And we shouldn't listen to the bullies. But even as an adult, that's hard. I think we could all use a little bit more bullying, actually. The whole anti-bullying campaign when I was in school. It was too successful, I think. Bring the bullies back. Now, earlier this year, my friend James approached me and told me he came up with an inclusive nail polish brand and asked if I wanted to partner with him in it. And I said, yes, obviously. And that's how Boy Toy got started. Boy Toy is inclusive to everybody. It does not matter your gender or your age. Anyone and everyone can wear it. And this dude is obsessed with nail polish. <laughs> well, shit. You're perpetuating this toxic masculinity stereotype. Masculine men can paint their nails. Painting your nails is not gendered. It's not masculine or feminine. It's a form of expression that makes people feel good. It's fun. You have this preconceived notion of what a manly man masculine guy is. Let dudes paint their nails. Date a dude who paints his nails. Y'all can get manis together for date night. Stop being so judgmental. You're too pretty to say ugly things. Yeah, painting your nails isn't feminine. It just so happens that everyone who does it seems to exude feminine characteristics. <laughs> <laughs> you can be masculine and paint your nails. I mean, sure, I guess. I've personally never seen it. I mean, if you change the definition of masculine around, I guess. Sure. Uh, I don't know. Let's talk about teacher tired. Let's talk about teacher tired on a Thursday. Actually, please, no, let's not. Let's not do that. What is my toxic teaching trait? It doesn't matter how late I'm running for work. I will stop and get that cup of coffee. No hesitation. Not only am I doing this, but being late, I'm gonna make it your problem. Oh, you sat in the classroom with my students because I'm 15 minutes late and school started? I'm sorry, the Starbucks line was long. You wanted me to leave without coffee? No. Does this make me a good teacher? Absolutely not. Does it make me a better teacher having coffee versus not having coffee? Absolutely. If I have to perform in front of 20 students all day, I deserve this. And I know that's right. You know, sometimes you maybe start to think that the world's all right, you know? There's some bad stuff, but it's doing okay. I think we, we might make it. And then you come across something like this. And it just shatters, <laughs> shatters that perception. What a narcissistic, selfish piece of sh so it's a Friday night, I'm a teacher, so of course I'm at the grocery store getting wine. I hear someone call out Mr. Williams and I turn around to see a middle school girl and her mom. I'm like, she is far too old to be one of my students, so how do I know her? And I ask. And the girl's like, oh my God, mom, I told you it was him. So the mom was like, my daughter follows you on TikTok. And of course I made the joke, oh my God, I didn't know kids followed me on TikTok. I probably shouldn't drink and curse as much as I do. The mom said though, I, I hope more kids follow you. Her daughter said that she transitioned last year and that she was scared to do it at school because she didn't know if it was safe for her to do that. And then she saw one of my videos and said that she didn't know that there were teachers out there who supported young trans kids and that my videos made her feel like it was okay and that there were teachers out there that were safe spaces. I make TikToks because I thought it made teachers laugh. I didn't know I did that for young queer kids. 
So if you're a kid watching this, please know there are teachers out there who love and support you. And if you don't feel that at school, please feel free to come onto this page and I will make sure that Mr. Williams and this pre-K classroom is a safe space for you. No more crying. Have a great weekend. Oh, Jesus Christ, Brentley. Brentley, Brentley, Brentley. Even when you were supposedly telling a story about somebody else, it still was all about you, wasn't it? You weren't crying because you felt something for that young transitioned child. Son of a bitch. You were crying because of just how awesome you are. God, you're, you're great. Oh. Pre-K pause. I might be incredibly busy today, but there's one thing I'm not gonna forget, and that is Trans Awareness Week. Today's book is Jack, Not Jackie. This is written by Erica Silverman, and the pictures are by Holly Hottam, I think. Hattam? Holly, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your name. This again is a great book and a resource you can use to talk to kiddos about our trans friends and best ways we can support and advocate for them. Jack Not Jackie is awesome. Look how happy he looks. I would suggest this book. I think you're all gonna really like it. Yeah, I definitely doubt that, uh, Brantley. I definitely doubt that I'm gonna really like the book. Thanks for the recommendation, though. That's fantastic, just fantastic. So there you have it. There is Theodore Otis Brentley, pre-K teacher with two million followers on TikTok. Oh man, there's no hope, is there? <laughs> two million people follow this guy. Ooh, but to be honest, I don't really have any personal problem with him. I think some of his views are kind of, you know, stupid. But he's actually pretty funny sometimes, and I'd probably enjoy hanging out with him and his husband, you know, getting a drink and hanging out, you know? Nothing inappropriate. Just, you know, some friends hanging out. Check this out. I mean, this actually is pretty funny. <laughs> no, 100%. Hey, Mr. Williams. Hi, Mrs. Miller. I know you're my child's teacher. I don't want to be weird, but you're like... Gay, right? Uh, yes I am. Okay, yes, like slay queen, boots the house down, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, what? Okay, listen, I have a friend who would be perfect for you. Why is that? Because we're both gay, yes. You probably actually know him, his name's Kyle. Mrs. Moe, just because I'm gay doesn't mean I know all the other gays. Oh, hush, you know you all know each other, don't act offended. Okay, even if that was the case, Kyle is such a generic name. Well, this Kyle is not generic, and I know you know him. He's like six feet tall, sandy blonde hair. He plays football, you know? Kyle! Oh my god, fine. Just show me a picture of him. I'm gonna step ahead. I'm on his Instagram, and I found you a short little selfie. Okay, you know what? I actually do know him. Oh, you do? Um, you could say we actually dated. Did you two f up? I mean, I told you all the gays know each other. Comedy gold. Well, that's it for this video. My name is Swamp. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.